So this is somewhat of a long blueprint. But I also need a place to put the power poles, don't I? Yeah, we'll figure it out first. Uh, right now, let's just do 12 for processors. Twelve on each side. There we go. Uh, so we need this going over here. Hopper. I think I know where to put the power poles. So we'll do one side first. And then we'll see how it works out. And then if I like what I see, we'll do the other side. like this. Yeah, there we go. And then we'll have uh, this over here. Or maybe other side. Oh, we're still going to need the spray coaters somewhere. Let's not forget about that. Oh, this is too long. And then we'll put the power poles over here. Wait, can we do every third? Two, three, four. I think we could do every fourth. Yeah. Yeah, that works. And then we'll... well... Actually, we need to get rid of this. to figure out how to do this because we might not have room for the sorters. Or not this yeah the sorters but also the spray coaters. So we do it like this.
And then what we're gonna do... Okay, the output is here. Output is here. Input... There we go! And then we can just put the power poles like right over here. And that will work. And then, oh, I think we're going to have to do every three instead of four. And then the last one over here. There we go. So I have one side done. That works. Now I just need to do the other side. And then we'll clean up the excess uh, conveyors later on. You will do it like this. Hey, there we go. Then we'll do the components over here. So we're going to put the uh, spray coaters over here. And then put power poles. Oh, look at that. So this was going the wrong direction. Cut off the wrong spot here. There we go. And we need to put the spray coaters over here. I mean, look at this blueprint. It's nice and slim. I should probably mention, um... Fuck, what was I gonna say? Like, I really forgot what I was gonna say. Like... I was gonna say something about this. Shit. Oh, right. Um, this... These ratios are... 
based on no proliferators. So once I add this in, like, it's going to be off balance, but at least we'll get more for less, if that makes sense. I just need to figure out how to add the things here. Didn't really take this into account, but let's just, like try something here. Like, I don't want to make this blueprint thicker. But... I might have to do it like this. Okay, so can I put the containers here? Yes, I can. And then logistics up top here. Uh, we're gonna do where the proliferators. We'll do the MK3 over here, and the MK2 over here. Also gonna make sure we set this correctly. Gotta limit this. Okay, so There's one. Maybe we can go behind them or something. This is the price of going like super compact. Yeah, I'll go this way. this. Let's make, make it go down over here. Yeah, there we go. So then we need to attach the MK2s. Okay, this one is easy enough. And then the other one. There we go. A little bit of spaghetti here with the proliferators, but we basically saved quite a bit of room here. 
I mean, look at that. And of course, we have that failover with the MK2, so if we run out of MK3s, we still got some proliferation in the form of MK2s. But anyway, everything is proliferated at this point. Except it's not. Hmm. Okay. So we need to get the MK3s over here. Unless we just make another proliferation thing over here. It's probably easier to do it like that. Now, can I put a container here? Yes, I can. Easy enough. And we'll put our things up here. So MK2 is over here. There's the failover in action. So this is what I meant by having a more efficient blueprint here. Basically, all of the like iron ingots, all the ingots here, it just goes directly into these things, which will go directly into these things, and then all the processors will go back into the logistics station. So it's using much less power in order to assemble these. Just because all that power is not going into drones, which is moving everything around. Processors... Uh, what should I name it? Processors... Like, processors are already taken, but... Uh... Yeah, more efficient processors. Three... Four... Okay, um... And I'm gonna spend a lot of time trying to figure out this icon layout. Yeesh. Four, one. Yeah, four, two. There we go. So we got our original processors over here. And we got our efficient thing over here. And since I don't need to have the components like separated, like we can begin to shut down uh, the rest of this stuff. 
They really don't need the uh, these things anymore. Well, let's just spin this down instead of like just getting rid of it entirely. Yeah, this is very inefficient for our purposes. So I'm only going to use this if I need like the components for the spray coaters. Or if I need circuit boards for something else. So we'll just spin that down. I want to do the same thing with the motors, with the turbines actually, but... I think I'm going to do that in the next play session. Like, let's just do one efficient blueprint per play session until we've completed them all. In the meantime, I do want to move on to something else. So I did say I was going to take another sys... Come on. I did say I was going to take another system and it would be this one. Because luminosity is like uh, 108%. This is 94, and this is 99. So we'll do this one first. Or this one first. And that, of course, means I'm going to need lots of supplies. But it's already in a logistics station, so it's fine. Uh, This one over here. We're gonna set up a Dyson Sphere over here. Now, there is a dark fo uh, fog hive over here, so we're just gonna leave it alone for the time being. And let's just wipe everything out. Pew, 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 pew! I really don't care about these drops, so I'll just get rid of it. Yeah, you know, I'm just gonna mine this up like right now. Yeah, 19. And we got more veins utilization at this point. Let's just clear this planet first and then we'll start building. Okay, power here. I'm thinking for this planet, since it has so much iron copper. Let's do turbines here once again, but this time we're going to put the... Uh, what's its face? The containers, the particle containers for it. We do have fire ice here. We're going to ship it out over to uh, the lava planet. And wait a minute. Solar energy is 142%. This has 93%. This is 70 to 48%. So it's probably better just to get it from over here. Even though that this area has more fire ice. Hmm. Yeah, let's get it... Actually, yeah, let's get it from... Three. 
since that has a lot more fire ice. Okay, I need to connect these things. Also take this as well. Oh, let's just take this over here. Now I want to start bringing our small rockets over here. Just so we can start launching them in this system. Okay, uh, this thing right here. There we go. I probably should put the blueprint over here right now. This seems like a good place to uh, put our high energy stuff. I probably should put down foundations first. Oh, where are you? The launch site. Wait, didn't I have another other blueprint for this? Yeah, rocket launchers. It's pretty much the same blueprint. But we need the launch silos first. You know what? Interstellar Logistics Station right here. Carrier rockets, uh... Let's just do this. Are we even sending th these out? Oh, I guess not. So, we're gonna have to... Uh, get these shipped out somewhere. Anyway, I was continuing to clear this area over here. Oh, it's ready connected. Alright, so... We got these two over here. And we'll just build towards it. And then the last one is in this direction. Yeah, so we'll put the power poles this way. Gotta hurry up, it's about to attack.
Okay, so we captured everything on this planet. As we'll start stocking up on everything here. Capturing all these resource nodes. Oh, that's not gonna make it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's find the equator. Where are you? Okay, it's right over here. Okay, then we'll take the copper over here. Okay, I think we'll start putting down our stuff over here. We'll do the MK3s first. We'll do solar panels. You'll do... We'll do the proliferators. charge this up. I don't think we even need to charge it up, but we'll do it anyway. And then we'll get our production buildings in here. We need... Did, did I put vertical silos here? Or considering we have very few of them, we actually need... Probably shouldn't. So, I will put... Uh, we are going to need some smelters. We'll need assemblers. Uh, we'll probably need chemical plants as well. Or, you know what, let's do, let's do the splitters first. And then, yeah, chemical plants. Or maybe not on this planet because we're not going to use the chemical plants over here. Maybe planetary logistics. Are those in here? Uh, no, I guess not. Uh, maybe spray coders. And automated pilers as well. Okay, there we go. I also just remembered I needed concrete.
Wait. Oh, fucking hell. Alright, I need to get that back up. Yeah, we're gonna need lots of concrete, but here's all of our stuff. Oh yeah, another thing. We're gonna need these. Okay, what else do we need at this point? I guess accumulators. And I have space for one more thing. Oh, but I think I'm gonna, about to get the concrete. Yeah. So anyway. Let's get this going. There we go. Sufficiency is going down. We need to build the power out now. So, we're just going to go pure solar at this point. And we don't really need the stone, so we'll just cover this up. There was a red spot here. I don't know how that happened. But whatever. Alright, let's copy and paste this. Start building our equator. We can also take advantage of the lava. And we'll just keep going. This needs to be filled in. Okay, let's get our solar panels from over here. I'm gonna put our accumulators somewhere like out of the way away from our production
Oh, nice. So we're generating a lot of power now. Like, overall in the star cluster. Efficiency is good as well. 